coming on live, doing all this on, on live when it comes to my family. See, because she, she boils me up about three or four months ago. And it was kind of hard for me to uh, to digest all of that. And so now they gave you some more airtime and you decide to call me out. And Kiki, you know, you already know it's not that kind of ball game. You already know that. You already know that you've been used and abused for somebody and you know who it is. Don't play with me. I'm tired. You keep saying this, Kiki. But I'm coming to you today with the real. Okay? Don't play. It's not a playing matter at this time. Don't call my name on in your mouth. Leave my name at your mouth. Because you know what you told me? And you said that you weren't going to call my name unless you are getting paid to call my name. If you're not on the show and getting paid, don't call my name. I ain't got no free information for nobody out there. But since you don't want to answer your phone, I'm going to call you out. Now, between you and Marceau, y'all handled it. I ain't got nothing to do with that. You handled it. Hey. Yes, she is. She a really family. That is my brother, daughter. And she really are family, y'all. She really is. But I must say this, Kiki, you has been used and abused. Get yourself together, Kiki, before you go back and do the same thing you was doing at first. Get yourself together, baby. It's not that serious. Serious. It's not. So, if I'm a liar, that means you a liar, okay? So, we twins at this point. Me and you are twins. Yay! We twins. So, you know you don't want auntie to come. You do not want this auntie to come, okay? I don't know about the other aunties you want to come and go play games with. But don't want you don't want this one to come. Please, keep my name out your mouth. I told you more than once. I don't come until y'all call for me, Okay? You call my name three times, and I'm here. Okay? I need to woke me up. You to woke me up so that your friend want to say woke me up from the dead. Long as God wake me up, I'm all good. I'm all good. That's all what matters. You to woke me up, and I'm here. So, with that being said, Kiki, keep my name out your mouth. Do not call my name on that one of them bloggers. Because I'm telling you, it's going to be some serious. Do not call my name. Only time you need to call my name if you is on that show and you getting paid to call my name. If you're not on that show, I don't give a fuck who interview you. Don't call my name. And I'm serious. You don't want to hear me, hear from me no more after the day. Do not call my name. Stick to whoever you're dealing with. And whoever name you want to call, believe Tisha and Wanda name at your mouth. Okay? I'm not going to ask you. I'm not telling you this. I'm not telling you this. I'm asking. Okay? And you already know how it's going to go down if you call my name. You is not getting paid from nobody. And for you to call my name and say that I'm lying like you talking to somebody you know who you talking to. These folks on this on these bloggers just want one thing. To damage you. They want to talk about you. Yes, as long as you as long as you kicking with the person you kicking with at this point, you is all right with them. But move to the left and see what happens. Okay? The only thing I'm telling you, move to your left and see what happens. You can see everything when you move to your left. Because everything on your right gonna be right, baby. Everything on your right, you can see it very clearly. What I'm saying to you, keep the family out of your name. If you and Maso want to go at it, y'all go at it. If Maso call you a liar and you want to come and clear that up, and you're doing all this talking about him, just to clear saying you is not a liar, what you think you what do you think I feel about you calling me a liar? 
What do you think I feel? I'm not going to get on here and bless you. But I'm telling you, you don't want to go there with me. So keep my name out your mouth. That's the only thing I'm going to tell you. If I look at AM Blogger, or if somebody sent me something with AM Blogger, say, there ain't going to be no TV show, but I'm going to bless you right here. And I'm telling you, leave my name out your mouth. I don't talk about you, and I don't want you to talk about Wanda. If they want to know anything, tell them to keep watching the show. They want to do a blackout, let them black it out. But at the meantime, tell them, keep watching the show. That's all you need to say. And I'm cool with you, and you're cool with me. And it's not a threat. This is what I'm just telling you. Okay? So since you didn't want to answer your phone, I'm telling you on your on live. Since you brought it on live, like you just said, you brought it on your social media, let's take care of it on social media. Keep my name out your mouth. And I'm not going to keep on saying it. This is my last warning I'm giving you. Okay? Warning. So, bloggers, you can have how many interviews you want to. Well, whoever you want to have it with. They ask you anything about Wanda? Baby. Baby. I'm telling you, I'm asking you nice. I never said anything about you. I ain't never said nothing to you. And I ain't nothing. You can't really say nothing about me anyway. But I don't want my name in there. I want those mess ass bloggers mouth that you're going to talk to. Because they are uh, for the other person and not for us. Okay? They is for the other person and not for us. So keep my name out of messy bloggers you mouth that whoever you going to interview with. Unless it's the bloggers that I like or the bloggers that on our side. You sound stupid. The rest of them, Her keep my name out your, out, out your mouth. That's all I'm saying. I'm through with it. And you know who they are. And you know who you're going to go interview with. They don't have nothing good for neither one of us. Period. They want to see you fight with your family. And the same way with the girl who brought you on this show. She want to see you fight with your family. She laughed at you at the end. She ain't had nothing good to say about you. Look how y'all were laughing and, and everything was so funny to her. Everything is funny. Everything was funny. <laughs> and you really believe that. You actually believe that what Marceau them said and did. You actually believe that. So I know something is not right. I know something is not right in that pudding. Okay? So just keep my name out y'all mouth. And we gonna be cool. So anyway, now, I just said what I had to say, and I'm done with it. So, um, I'm headed to the hospital to see my little one, because he was just born today, and um, I'm going to see, oh God, who is that? Y'all look at Eddie, he over there asleep. He told me don't put him on, on, on. I'm feeling, but he's sleep. Look at him, y'all. What y'all see me? <laughs> he said, don't put me on video. <laughs> yeah. But um, we is heading out to see Granny. Granny, my other babies make number seven, y'all. Do we make number eight? Damn. This make number eight, y'all. My eighth one. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Lord have mercy. They're coming fast. Family is busy growing. Okay, let me see what y'all are saying now. They're turning you see up in the bit. comment. Yes, all right. Yes, thank you. Yeah, because when you got family, people tend to try to tear you up. And it don't even be the people that own the TV show. It be the... It be the ones that are out on the outside, all the bloggers who don't like you, and they try to tear your family up, and she feel like, well, if I go to them, they can understand better. No, they cannot deny some of them, deny them. They would never understand. So don't even get them, don't get them nothing, nothing to say, period, unless you get paid for it. If they, if they want you to come on their blog, because they're not a friend of yours. And they want you to come on now. Tell them you're charging them $1,000. And if they like you so much, they'll pay that $1,000. <laughs> Instead of you paying them $1,000. Yeah, that part right there. Tell you them to give you $500. When you pay me. Uh, to come on their on show. Yeah. 
tell them that. Hmm. Don't do nothing free. Don't do nothing free. Show us them since they want to see you and since they want to hear from you, since they love you so much. Hmm. It's you get about their money. money see, I got my YouTube channel coming up in a couple more days, I think. If this guy ever get through with him. See, I don't know nothing about all this YouTube stuff, but I'm finna learn, baby. I'm finna learn today. <laughs> I'm finna learn today. Yep. And it um, don't take no whole month to set up no thank YouTube. Thank you. Who that? Debbie? I can't hardly see. That's Deidre. Hey, Deidre. Oh, that is Deidre. Hey, Deidre. How you doing, baby? Yeah, um, people want to see. I mean, it's good. It's good TV, and I'm not going to lie to you. It's good TV, but you don't go against the grain, baby. Never go against the grain. Unless you are still there. And if you still there, and then I can understand. But if you'd have moved away from there, where you used to be, uh-uh, you don't go against the grain, baby. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. If you and also want to fuss and fight all day long, y'all do that. Okay? Because I wouldn't even want to fuss and fight with him, period. Because in that case, what you out here saying, I know you got, I know you just like me. And we'll eat his ass up alive. We know that. But on the same token, let it be between you and him. Don't call my name and teach name. And I know Marcel going to go back too now. <laughs> I know he's going to go back. And I know both of y'all going to be hitting below the belt. I know this. <laughs> both of y'all going to hit below the belt. But catch him in the rain. Catch him in the rain. Because if y'all fighting on Instagram, you ain't getting paid nothing. So if you want to fight somebody, fight them in the rain. Because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of scenes in the ring that they want to hear and know about. And you can talk about me all day long in the ring. But don't talk about me outside of the ring. I don't want none of them. None, I don't want to give them nothing. Nothing, no time, no show, no nothing, period. And then you better be on my level. You better be on the same boat I am on. If you jump off of it, you're going to sink. I'm telling you, you're going to jump into some water and your ass going to sink. Well, you already sunk. And Auntie can't help you. Auntie can't save you. Auntie going to have to take you through there. I'm telling you. So, with that being said... Again, do not call my name. Um, I hope the hospital still open, but um, yeah, I heard all this mess going on and all this and all that, and I'm trying to jump out of it. Tisha, like, Mama, don't go live no more, don't go live. But Tisha, I had to go live on this one, I had to because I see where it's going. And she know doggone well, this girl ain't no friend of hers. She know this girl ain't no friend of hers. Because if she knew that this girl was a friend of hers, when the show first kicked off, Kiki and her husband would have been the first somebody this person went to since y'all been the friends the longest. They I told would have been you she the first somebody. still talking about Melody. They came to you and your husband. Oh, she did. Girl, don't lie. Bad as you love to be on TV. Don't lie. Don't lie, Kiki. Don't lie. Please don't lie. I got you on my tape saying what you said about this girl. So don't lie. Please don't lie. We're not going to go with the lying thing now. Don't lie. We're going to tell the truth. Now, we want to throw some shade? We can throw some shade, but we're going to keep it real. Don't lie. Let's keep it real. All the way real. Period. And you know I don't like talking in front of my husband about none of my family members. None of them. He don't know nothing about none of my family but what he see on that TV. 
and what he see on that TV, I'm getting paid for it. Okay? That's all he know about my family. It's what he see on that TV. I don't talk to no man of nothing, no part of nobody about my family. And he's sitting right here. He know that. Well, he don't talk about, about his family to me. And how a damn, I'm going to talk about mine to him. See, that's what causes confusion in a family. When you're talking about your own blood.